Hey guys, and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. Last time, we, um, we entered Mementos for the first time, if I remember right. It's been a couple of days since I last played. We entered Mementos, which is supposedly a good grinding spot for starters. Um, so I will be using that whenever we go there. We didn't really get a chance to grind them because it immediately kicked us out, but next time when we choose to go there of our own free will, I'll probably be staying there in between episodes to grind more. Um, usually go to Mementos to fulfill quests that people give you via the Phantom Aficionado website and stuff like that. But uh, basically we worked out that it's a place where people of the society we live in and their desires that they've gone corrupt but only a tiny bit they will be there if we know where to look we have to know their name basically but um other than that um nothing big happened i think if i'm remembering right am i remembering right nothing really happened um yeah, Mementos was the biggest thing that happened last time. So I'm just going to leave it there. I think my memory is just messing with me. But other than that, let's, uh, let's continue. Now listen up. What do you want to do? Make sure you're study. Up. What do you want to do? I want you to shut the fuck up, Morgana. Yeah, give me that knowledge. Hey, I saw the forum. Nice job sticking into that stalker. A phantom aficionado website came in handy, didn't it? What are you talking about? It's okay, you don't have to say it. I know deep down in my heart that it was useful. My heart, get it? Anyway, I'm in Shibuya right now. I'd love it if you could come out, come and hear me about your future actions. I'll be waiting at, at the diner at? in Shibuya. You gotta swing by. What is he up to? He's trying to make friends, that fuck! How dare he? Uh, things bad. You know, with the special activities. <sighs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. I uh, haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. I've been staying up managing the fan site all night. Every night. I think it's called PR. PR? Um, I don't understand. <laughs> you want to know more? Basically, there's no point to taking down bad guys if nobody's gonna know about it. That's why I've started a blog for posts from people you guys saved, while filtering out the haters. We need the Phantom Thieves to be seen in the proper light if we want to make the name popular, right? You done good, kid. Really? Just hearing you say that makes my all-nighters worth it. So, actually, I really want to know how you punish people. Don't worry, I'm not gonna ask. It wouldn't be any fun if you just up and told me. After all, the Phantom Thieves have a reputation for being secretive. I... I wish I could be more like you guys somehow. But I'll still be here to draw attention to the stuff you do. You can leave that part to me. I'm gonna use my fan site to promote the Phantom Thieves and weed out any negative comments. Your popularity is gonna be at my mercy. Or, uh, uh, my fingertips. It's like I'll be your strategic image management representative, so to speak. You're really high for this. <laughs> just you wait. I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that title's more than just for show. <sighs> I've gotta say, though, managing the Phantom Thieves' reputation is tiring work. The forum gets all sorts of weird posts, including tons of things unrelated to reforming society. It'd defeat the purpose of the site if the truth of the Phantom Thieves was buried among all that garbage. Oh, but you don't need to worry. I'll sort through all the trash. Speaking of which, 
I've actually already found some worthwhile info about our very own school. Our quest to boost your popularity can start close to home. I'll give him my all. Yay. Yeah. Mishima seems motivated. Did good, boy. All right. Advancing Mishima's confident. Mishima will now give you information on targets and mementos. After making a target have a change of heart, meet with Mishima to deepen the trust between you. He will give you more information on new targets. I might be overworking myself, though. <sighs> Man, I'm exhausted. <sighs> I think I'd fall asleep on the spot if I weren't talking to you. I should head home. See you later. See ya. Oh, Canelo, listen to this. I was checking the fan site earlier and I found a bunch of hater comments about the Phantom Thieves. Got me so mad I'm not even sleeping anymore. At this point, I might as well pull an all-nighter fighting back. Uh, calm down. Don't worry, I'm cool. Staying up after all an all-nighter gives me this natural high, you know? And I'm gonna work my butt off. Just watch me. Judy calls. Better set off for the battle of the fan side. Time for a wild night of modding and banning. Good luck, ma'am. Hey. Midterms are coming up. What about that? What about that diner in Shibuya that Mishima told you about? Could be a good place for dining. You have permission to go out at night. It's in no time like the present. Oh. Must be the home shopping program's on. Okay. Hey, hey. So a set of plant nutrients guaranteed to make your garden bright and beautiful, and guaranteed to help you relax, is set to improve your mental health. May as well get the deer one. Oh, another bar is just called in. Yeah. You were just in time, like always. Like, everyone's always just in time, it seems. Welcome, would you like some fresh fruit juice? Uh, it increases my guts. Cool. Man. Yeah, disgusting. Nice. Blech. Blech. Nice, nice, nice. And time to work at the beef ball shop. Hey, look, there's tons of customers coming in all of a sudden. You're gonna be bombarded with orders at this rate. Make sure you memorize them all. Oh, medium beef ball. Oh, shit, I'm gonna write this all down. Ah, one medium natto ball. Medium beef ball. Ah, ah I can't. <laughs> medium. Medium beef ball. Medium beef ball. Medium natto ball. Medium bip 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 ball. Uh, yeah, and a large do 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 ball. Okay, got it. Yes. All right, stay calm. Remember the orders. What did the first person order? Medium beef ball. <laughs> yes, that's right. What did the second person order? A uh, medium nacho ball. Hey. Yeah, they did say that. What about the third customer? Um, it was a medium high goal row ball. Nice. Yep, that's what I heard too. What did the fourth customer order? A large one. Well. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, now you just have to make everything and serve them. You. You appear to have a difficult time there. Yeah. Can't you ask your manager to hire more people? You are extremely busy. Employees being overworked is a becoming a real problem in the workplace. That's concerning. Mm. I should remember this. Well then, I'll see you again. I'll leave, I'll leave my payment here. Thank you for the food. Man in a suit will remember this. Was that the politician who gives speeches in front of the station? Oh yeah. He was worried about employees in the workplace, huh? I think he knows who you are now. We should go to the station square again sometime soon. 
My. Well, good work, rival. Oh yeah, we're gonna fight here right now. <laughs> Seems there were a lot of customers today, but you handled it well on your own. We were crowded today, as crowded today as we usually get on Yakinuku Day. Wonder if there was some event happening nearby. Thanks in advance. Paid you a little extra today. Good work. Keep it up. Nice. Thank you. Man, you are amazing today. Dealing with so many orders. Oh my god, I love you. If only I was human. Don't jinx it. I'm sure it was rough, but I think you handled it all quite proficiently. Cool. What? 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 Well, wow, what's up with the goggles? You can snowboarding or something? I hear the setter is blooming later than usual. Climate change and what you have here. Ugh, pollen allergies suck. I couldn't go to the I couldn't go to the mountains even if I wanted to. My eyes and nose would gush like rivers. That sounds awful. Seems pretty rough. That's right, the new said pollen season was starting later than usual this year. Looks like the pollen problems have only just begun. People are about to have some itchy eyes. This might affect mementos the same way weather does. Oh, damn, that's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. Morning. Uh. You have allergies? Allergies? Oh, uh, maybe. I do feel kind of dazed and everything feels weird. But, um, actually, I've been having this feeling that someone's watching me. Uh, I hope not. Oh, uh, maybe I just can't shake off the feeling of infiltrating a palace. At the palace, we're always cautious of not being noticed, you know? So it has to be my imagination. <laughs> yeah. Totally. We'll find out in six days. Or five. Hey, don't you think the atmosphere at school's kind of different now? You mean with that being no Kamashita? Yeah, nobody ever talked about him out in the open like this before. That's true. I wish somebody just thanked us for it or something. Either way, everything has worked out for the best. After all, Kamishida's actually been punished for his crimes. That's victory enough for me. I agree. I wonder what's going to happen to him now. I mean, he's a famous criminal at this point, right? He's going to have to deal with people hating him forever. That might be true, but I don't have any sympathy for him. He got what he deserved. For sure. Faux show. Oh yeah. Hey, I have some new info for you. I saw it on the fan site, but I've heard about it at school too. Anyway, there's a guy at school whose bullying has gone too far. I want to help with the victim, but that's impossible for me. But I bet the Phantom Thieves could do something about it. I mean, you already changed the heart of that stalker, so this should be a breeze. Piece of cake. You're amazing. The bully is a brown-haired guy frequently seen out standing up in front of the school. And from what I can tell, his name is Daisuke Takanashi. Oh god, Daisuke. What did you do oh. since Persona 4? No, Daisuke! What happened to the soccer club? <laughs> Completely different character, I know. Just the joke. Yep. Got some info for Mishima. Roll here, you want to go to Mementos? What are you talking about? Don't we need to study? Let's go. Oh, don't worry about that stuff. Let's ignore the details and just go charging ahead first. Um, That's easy for you to say, but we don't even have a target. Let's go. That's actually not a problem anymore. Some intel has come from Mishima. All right. Oh, perfect time. Let's just go in right now, then. Uh, Will you really do anything to avoid studying, huh? Confirming Mementos requests. Checking your information on target by selecting View Requests at the hideout or by pressing Triangle to View Requests in the main menu. Once the information has been confirmed, you can begin by selecting Explore Mementos. Mementos can be explored even without a target, but time will pass as it would in the palace. Um, exercise caution when nearing a time limit. Alright, well, I don't plan to go into them. What's all the yellow stuff coming in from the sky? Is that pollen? That's cool effect. Although, 
Holland's not that cool. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go spend time with Takemi. Um, I do I have a death persona there? there? Uh, yeah, I do. Allergies are so annoying. Please head to the exam room. Please head to the exam room. Hmm. Here you go. The effect should be instant this time. <laughs> should be. Let's see. Eyes are focused. Look this way. One, two, three, four. Nothing yet, huh? Yeah. The inside of my mouth feels like it's burning, and my nose is itchy. Oh. Ah, there it is. The inhibitory effect is just as I hoped. Your weight was the primary reason it took longer to, to kick in than expected. Yes, this is what I expected from a teenager. We're making great progress. Practice makes perfect, right? Hold it tight. Once I compile all the data, you can move on. Oh god, who's this? Hello? Hello, Takemi Medical Clinic of Eternal Medicine. How can I help you? An emergency, huh? But we're not designated hospital. Besides, the head physician here is Tai Takemi. Uh... Awfully rude just hanging up on a lady like that. Is that an emergency? Oh. Don't worry about it. An ambulance driver was looking for a transfer location. All the designated hospitals are full. But I think they'd accidentally call a general practitioner. Must have been a new paramedic. He seemed to at least know my name, though. I have been blacklisted by the larger medical community. They call me the plague due to a grave medical error I made. A medical error. <sighs> this goes back to my old job. I used to work at a university hospital in the city. I was never actually convicted of anything. But I'm still considered a pariah in the medical industry. Does that scare you? Participating in clinical trials run by a doctor like that? I don't mind. You serious, kid? Well, that's fine. Being ostracized has enabled me to focus on my own research and development. Regardless, I look forward to working with you. I'll be sure to add some additional medicine for you, my little guinea pig. <laughs> Feels like my bond is growing. <laughs> Adds more healing items. Nice. All right. Hello, Dr. Hello? Take Dr. Takemi's Clinic of Eternal Medicine. Huh? One order of teriyaki chicken. You're all good for today. You can go home now. Come again soon if you're still alive. Are they... Is it like a trend to prank call her because of... things? Take there was care. that one police officer that came in because one of the head doctors fooled him into checking on Tate to Kemi, right? Maybe he's telling or spreading rumors so people will prank call her? I don't know. I don't think it ever gets mentioned. Hey, my little kitty pig. I have to talk to you about something. You haven't taught anyone about my drugs, right? Of course not. Well, okay, I mean, part of the deal is that you're strictly prohibited from sharing anything that happens here. Guess I'll believe you for now. Feels like I've been getting a lot more patience asking for drugs lately. Wonder why they keep hearing me about me. It's been really bugging me. But that's all I wanted to ask, I guess. See you soon. No problem. Ah, you're back. Hey! Come to think of it, that guy who approached you in the beef ball. Shah was a politician, right? He apparently gives speeches at the Shibuya station. But you can't judge a book by its cover. Another sure. box came for you. Hey. What'd you get? Recover oil and relax gel and a lot capsule. Oh. Must be what you ordered off the TV. Cool. Exams is I'm already bummed about tests coming up. I'm in trouble for anything that's not English. I haven't been studying at all. Maybe we can keep make some progress if we keep an eye on each other. Wanna study together? So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna study with Lydia Ann? Study. You're a big help. Then let's meet at the diner in Shibuya. Why don't you or else? 
That long sentence is tough. Try to think about what the underlying section means. And you, are you starting to understand how to dissect these problems? I think so. I'm so jealous you get a one-on-one -on -one study session with Lady Anne Fakler. Seems like you're making more progress than usual to do too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I'm actually not, not so good at this because of my time abroad. Anytime, anyway, time to study. Here we go. Do you think you could help me with math next? Sure thing. Let's get back. I'm so tired. Let's stop here. Looks like you're attending school seriously. Of course I am. You also seem pretty close with Takamaki-san if you're both coming to school together. You just transferred here, though. I guess you two really click. We're in the same class. I see. You seemed a lot closer than that yesterday morning. Uh, really? I she was a victim of Mr. Kamoshida. But was that all there was to it? Either way, closer inspection should clear everything up. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ahem. Exams start tomorrow, you're all ready? Well, now then, picking up from last begin? time. The end of the Heian period marks the rise of the samurai, which I'm sure you've all been waiting for. As described in the tale of the Hike, it was a time when all that was great would fall from grace. It wasn't unusual for the heroes of yesterday to be struck down as rebels of the present day. By the way, sympathizing with the loser of the week is called Magistrate's Patronage. The term came from the Minamato no Yoshitsune's position, and it also became a way of referring to him as well. Or at Canelo could. Do you know the answer? You know the time period Yoshitsune was active in, don't you? It was the Kamakura, Kamakura, yes, queen! Nah, sorry, that's a Danganronpa reference. Time period. This is it. Correct. That's right. He supported his brother Yoritomo during the High End period, but despite his contributions in defeating the Tyro, he was driven out by his brother and ultimately executed. However, in the centuries that followed, Yoshitsune became more popular as a tragic hero. Wow, really? Oh my god, yeah. So good. Yep. I should really stop skipping the uh, the, the teacher's end stuff. Um, rather than siding with the one who is overwhelming power, people prefer the underdog opposing them. Sort of like rooting for a minor league balls baseball team instead of an all-star major league one. I can understand that. It's like, if I don't root for them, then who will? Your thoughts. If you're confident in your exams, you could always let live another day and hit to Mementos. It'd be nicer if we could get some info on its target before we went, though. Nah, I'm good. Strengthening my heart. Hey, I came with a method up of strengthening my heart. It's kind of hard to do it by myself. Will you train with me? Sure. Thanks. Well, we'll be going to Inokashira Park. It's really big. Well, let's meet up at Shibuya and head over there. Inokashira. Never heard of that place before, but okay. All right. There are a number of hangout spots in the city, such as shops, event venues, landmarks, and so on. Confidants will each have their own favorite hangout spot. If you go there with them, your bond will grow even deeper than it normally would. You can learn about hangout spots by having confidants invite you there, or by reading about them in books. Try to find as many as you can. <laughs> Man, big open places like this are great. I think my training's going to go super great today. So remember how I said before that I want to strengthen my heart? Well, I came up with a way to do it. How's that? I don't think... I don't... I think having a strong heart means you don't let anything get under your skin. So basically, I want you to say stuff to me, and I'll try not to get phased by it. Well, what kind of stuff? <laughs> We've already started. I won't let that hesitation shake me. Guess I should say something to Arn. Come on, hit me with your best shot. 
Um, you're stupid. Yeah, 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 and um, you're you're their response was annoying. Uh huh, uh huh. What else? Can we stop yet? You're giving up. That means I win. Huh? Wait, is this how the game is supposed to go? <laughs> Oh well, on to round two. Yes! Bring it on! You're genius. You know, I kind of feel like this won't make our persona stronger. <laughs> yeah, it probably won't. It's cute though. <laughs> You're right, you finally get it. Uh, something's not right. Oh sorry, I just got an email from my agency. Next shoot is really far. Wait, what's this at the end? It's a notice saying to pay extra attention to the time and place they tell you. Apparently some models haven't been showing up at, a little, at all lately. Then when asked why they didn't come, the models all say they heard there was a change in schedule. Sounds like shoots have been real hectic with all the scrambling they've had on for substitutes. Has that happened to you? No, I haven't missed a single shoot so far. Probably really confuses the staff to see a sub showing up too. Hopefully it doesn't happen to me. Though actually, my first modeling gig was as a sub. That was back when I was still in Finland. My parents didn't have enough models for their event. Oh, haven't I told you? Um. My parents are both fashion designers who put on some seriously extravagant shows. They jump from country to country as I only really see them for half a year. Maybe less than three these days. That freedom sounds nice. Yeah, I guess I can afford to be pretty relaxed these days. Plus, it would probably be tough being a phantom thief with my parents around, don't you think? It was rough when I was little, though. It was just me and our living care caretaker. I didn't really have friends. Well, that got dark fast. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, when I'm modeling, it almost feels like I'm connecting with my parents somehow. It's a nice hobby to have, but I don't think I'd want to make a living out of it. After all, that's where Kamishida first spotted me, and that's how our class started those rumors. Besides, the Phantom Thieves are more important to me right now. Nobody can, my, can be my substitute there. Yes! That's why I need to get stronger. Nice. Good girl. Chance to perform a follow-up attack if Joker's attack does not down the enemy. Oh yeah. All right. All right. Oh yeah. When I was little, I used to watch this anime where the main villain was the female thief. She'd lose to the hero every time, but I always thought she was cool. She wasn't really a good person, per se, but she was beautiful, strong, sincere, and even sexy. Oh yeah. She always said whatever she wanted, did whatever she wanted. She knew what justice was for her. I wanted to grow up to be just like her someday. I hope I'm getting closer now, if only just a little bit. I'm sure you will. Hey, it's me! Thanks for coming with me today. So after we run up, met up, I tried doing some runaway walks on the, wa on the way home. Like how a cool, sexy woman would walk. Then some girl who was watching me nearby started to copy me and run away walked me. Walked with me. She had to have seen me, right? Do you think she thought I was cool? Could be. It's almost enough to make me blush, kind of. To be honest, I feel kind of bad for her. She has no idea that the real me is a human disaster. I just nodded at that? Fuck you. She's she's not a disaster. Like, sure, she isn't my favorite character in this game, but she's not a disaster. <laughs> I guess I still got a long way to go, but I'm not giving up. I made a decision that I'm going to get stronger, so I need to overcome any obstacle. Thanks for hearing me out, okay? Bye. You're back. Oh yeah, you're back. Uh, I'm gonna hang out with... Well, not yet. I'm gonna complete the crossword first. Hey, hey. Okay, what's the crossword today? What are the May Blues? Okay, so this is where I'm gonna start using the guide for the crossword because I do not know what they are. Um... Supposedly it's something called malaise. 
Luckily, this game has an encyclopedia for these words. In Japan, the May Blues are named as such due to the change of seasons and the number of people who fall ill after the long holidays at April's end. Similar terms are used, to ac are used across the world. Students in the USA get the September Blues after summer vacation, while the UK has the January Blues to contend with. All right. I oh, even I could have figured that out. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't even know what I was trying to explain. Why is it called Malaise? Right, well, I'm going to hang out with uh, Ryuji. Oh, I'm starting to get the hang of this, so I guess that's what I do with this one too. Wait, that's not good. Damn it, what I mess up on? Um, try styling Arvo. Good advice, Fakler. It's important to revisit and review where things went wrong. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here, if I just fix this. Whoa, problem solved. You're freaking amazing, dude. I'm gonna go get a grab a re refill. Solving that question has got me real pumped up. Wanna head back? Guess we should get home. I don't. I don't. I'm gonna recheck. But if I didn't get the full affinity for his, um, his affection, I'm going to redo that with the appropriate persona because I don't think I have the. Right discern on me. Alright, yeah, I got the full affinity. That's good. It's the day after tomorrow, right? I wonder if it's gonna be about Mr. Kamashita again. Ugh, I can't believe the school's messing with our schedules like that. I don't care what it's about. It's gonna have nothing to do with our students. I wish they'd stop dragging us into their mess. Seems pretty rough. A mandatory assembly during exam week, huh? Sounds rough for all of you. Oh boy, what's it gonna be about? I think it's exam time. Well, now that, let we the begin? first day of exams begin. What historical figure inspired the idiom of favoring the magistrate? Uh, it was Yoshitsune. Ooh, that sounds about right. Mm. Let's see, an essay question. This looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. Provide the reason why Minamoto no Yoshitsune is viewed as a hero. Yoshitsune had a brother, right? Uh, I think his name was... It was Yoritomo. Yoshi, Yoshi, Yoshitsune worked under Yoritomo. He did his, did a lot for his brother, but he ended up coming into conflict in the end when they had to oppose each other. Yoritomo won. Yeah, Yoritomo committed suicide after being exiled by his brother. But even though he lost, Yoshitsune is the one who went down in history as a hero. That's probably because people tend to sympathize less with figures in power and sympathize more with the weak. Yeah, not just any weak person, though. People love rooting for an underdog who stands up to a powerful oppressor, and Yoshitsune did that to his brother. So the reason Yoshitsune is treated as a hero was because he stood up against the powerful Yoritomo. Yep. You finished in time. Nice. <laughs> time is up. Put down your pencils and put your hands down to your desks. Second day of exams. Let's get started. Today is the second day of exams. You may begin. Which brain function is responsible for the phenomena uh, of seeing an illusion in this figure? Uh, it's cognition. Ooh, we can do this. Which of the following maps can you paint without any adjacent areas being in the same color? Uh, it's both. Any map in particular, as long as it's two D, right? Do this. Let's get started. Does everyone have a test? Then you may begin. Name the book that defined malefactor as the chief factor in the progress of the human race. Uh, it was the Devil's Dictionary. Ooh, we can do this! What character archetype ref refers to a mysterious and seductive woman, typically with, with, with ulterior motives? Uh, it's Femme Fatale. Ooh, we can do this! Cool. 
and today should be that uh, announcement, right? Assembly. A school-wide assembly this time of year, really? Think we can bring up flashcards in? Kibishita is just one of the many things wrong with this school. Gotta hurry home and study. The Kibishita is still causing trouble even when he's gone. So we've acquired the services of a therapist. A therapist, huh? The floor is yours, doctor. Well, isn't he hot? Really hot? Definitely. <clears throat> it's nice to meet you all. Whoa, his voice is sexy. <laughs> My name is... Hey. Okay, I, that was a weird thing at the end there. I assume he's mic up better or something. Um, this guy's new to Royal. He wasn't in Royal before. Uh -huh. My name is Takato Maruki. Takato Maruki. This place to actually give a shit about our mental health? Well, our schools made national news. Maybe they figured they'd look even worse if they didn't do anything for us. And Dr. Uh, Dr. What's his name? Maruki. Yeah, wasn't that guy just basically clowning it up on stage? Do you really think he'll do us any good? Ryuji. Hey there. Sakamoto kun and Takamaki san, right? And that must make you... How do you know our names? Well, I was informed of certain students before beginning my tenure here. Those that had, uh, previous interactions with Mr. Kamoshida. It must have been especially tough for you after having just transferred here. <laughs> to think I'd end up in a castle. Yeah, it was. I can definitely believe that. So... <laughs> What do you want with us? Ah, yes. I'd forgotten. I know I already offered my services to the student body earlier, but would you three be interested in counseling? Nope, not at all. Huh? How's that surprising? You were just a touch more emphatic about it than I'd expected. Ah. But if you come to my office, you can have free snacks. All you can eat. Oh yeah. Would be nice, but there's still plenty to be had. So, how about it? Oh, you can eat. Would be nice. Fucking school and their budget. <laughs> um, tell me more about these snacks. Hey, don't fall for that. To He's roping frank, you in. I'm letting him. Explicitly ordered to provide counseling to the students directly involved with Mr. Kamoshida. It's in the school's interests. For its students. Ah, the school's interest, huh? I know that asking you to be open with a complete stranger like myself is a lot. Making this mandatory wouldn't do you any good either. Might as well turn it into a worthwhile experience. Ooh, I know. If you attend my counseling sessions, I'll teach you different ways to improve your mental acuity. Like ways to hone your concentration before exams. Or not getting nervous on dates. How's that sound? I'll give you abilities for that gameplay section that I actually don't know about. What? Uh... Mental training. If I make good use of this, it may aid in our battles, uh, in our Phantom Thief actions too. There's also snacks. There's also snacks. Alright, alright, enough with the snacks. 
So, which way are you leaning? No harm in a little chap. <sighs> I guess it'd just be more trouble for us if we didn't go. Hmm, yeah. Really? Then, I guess it's a deal. I'll be in the nurse's office. Feel free to come by whenever it's convenient for you. Well, we should get going. Okay, I'll see you later. Thanks for taking my counseling into consideration. Now that we have a deal, I promise I'll do my best to help you. I've made a deal with Maruki. Oh nice, it's a social link. It's hard to believe an ordinary high school student could accomplish such grandiose heists. One would need a heart of steel, unaffected by outside influences, and prepared to act without hesitating. There has to be someone who helped strengthen your mental state. Sound like somebody you know? Give me a name! Doc! What? Who's Doc? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of... It's the doctor! Doctor who? With the birth of the counselor persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Counselor persona. So what's funny, um, what's interesting, sorry, is the voice line there by the twins, I assume it, I think it's the twins, um, is different because I'm guessing it was recorded recently before Royal released because it was part of Royal, which is after the original Persona 5. I like that you can tell that the voice actor or actress, I mean, is a little bit older and doing it a bit differently. I'm not sure if it's on purpose or what, but yeah. All right. So hold up, dude. Sorry for keeping you like this. Well then. See you later, Doc. Okay, quiet down. All right, settle down. I have an ad 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 addendum to uh, the early assembly regarding the counselling you've all been offered. The counsellor will be available to you starting after school today in the nurse's office. Dr. Maruki will only be posted here through November, so be sure to speak with him soon if you feel the need. For the majority of you, it's your choice whether or not you see him, but there are a few students I'll speak with later. School's decided, visit- The school's decided. Visits to Maruki will be mandatory for these individuals. Yep. Are you guys going for it? What, the counseling? Kinda sounds like we're being forced to. I told Maruki I'd do it, but I don't know if I'm really that into the idea, you know? Not much choice. Yeah, probably better not to draw more attention to ourselves anyway. I think I'm gonna try it again today. Hmm. Counseling, eh? Lydian's right, maybe make sure you visit him so you don't draw any attention to yourself, okay? Yes. Is it me? Oh, it's on. Oh, it's seeing her. Welcome. Are you here for a counseling session? Okay, he's not voice actor. Are you here for a counseling section? Yeah, is now a bad time? <laughs> not at all, it's always a good time, so long as I'm not already listening to a student. I'm so glad you're here. Would you care for a snack? Well, shall we shall get we started? Begin? Oh, but first, just relax, all right? I'm only here to listen to whatever you wish to talk about. Yes. Sure. Although I really only have one thing on my mind right now, anyway. Hmm. Yes, I'd say that makes perfect sense. But don't force yourself into talking with me. You could even just grab some snacks and be on your way if you wanted. <laughs> No, it's it's all right. I know I need to talk to someone about this anyway. That is, if you're willing to listen to the soupy low story. 
I absolutely am. Take all the time you need. Wow, a cat? Wow, a castle? Oh my god, you fought him naked? He had a really long time. What are you talking about? Principal, she needs to go to an asylum. To fully insane and take her friends. Game over. <laughs> you must replay the game and avoid that situation. I see, that's such a horrible thing to do to someone. Yeah, that's why I wanted to get even with him for Shio. Mm-hmm, and... At first I thought Kamishino ought to face the same fate Shiho was going to put herself through. But? And later I realized that wasn't right. If he did take his own life, it wouldn't undo Shiho's suffering. In fact, it'd just give him the easy way out. Right. Is that so? You know you were quite the wise, level-headed young woman, Takamaki-san. Huh? Uh, I think you've got the wrong... Nope. In fact, I think you're wiser than I was at your age. I wasn't anywhere near as mature as you are now. It's not like I did anything special, though. If I hadn't gone through my own share of hell, I don't think I'd be so mature anymore. I see. So what's in your mind now? Mm, right now, I'm just think? hoping Shiho would get better quickly. We both suffered a lot, but I just want to get back to laughing and having fun together like we used to. At this point, I don't give a rat's ass about Kamishita. Fuck him! I hope he yeah. slips on the soap in the shower. In prison. Just to be sure. Now there's a healthy outlook. You can't change the past, but you still want to keep your chin up and press onward. Is that the gist of it? Yeah, that's the sound about right. I mean, it'd definitely be better if none of this had happened at all. Quite. <laughs> I definitely agree with you there. But it's impossible to wipe every tragedy from the history. Yeah! If only, right? Everyone would be so much happier if we could actually do that. Oh, it seems I lost track of time. We should wrap things up here for today. Thank you so much for coming to see me. Oh no, thank you. I feel a ton better now that that's all left my chest. Be careful. Uh, okay. Good to hear it. You deserve it. Feel free to stop by again anytime. Okay, I'm Will do. See you around. Thanks. And now is it Ryuji? <laughs> Never mind. Well, I went in for counseling. You're going soon too, right, Fakelar? How'd it go? Oh, well, it honestly wasn't as rough as I expected. I think you should just go and give it a shot. Dr. Maruki's easier to talk to than you think. See you tomorrow. Hmm. Didn't, you, didn't you have a counseling appointment? That's in the nurse's office. Alright. Oh, hi. How are you? Oh, hello. Are you here for a session as well? God, too many girls' voices. God damn it. That's right. Is that so? Dr. Maruki so is a wonderful counselor. I've actually been seeing him for a while before he ever came to Shujin. Uh -huh. I didn't know you. I didn't know you two were acquainted. Don't go over swelling me too hard, though, Yoshizawa-san. I'm really nothing special. <laughs> well, I need to get going. Please excuse me. Bye bye. All right then. Let's see if we get started. Welcome, thank you for coming. Uh, we made a deal. <laughs> well, I'll try to make sure it's worth the trouble. Am I gonna get another social link here? Jeez. It's only been like one cutscene so far. I see you. Mm, thank you. I think I've gotten a good grasp on the situation you're in, Canela Kun. Well, full disclosure, the school gave me a brief rundown of the circumstances surrounding your transfer. So much more privacy. I'm glad you got a sense of humor about it, but yes, it's not exactly kind to you, I'm sorry. So Now that you've told me more about yourself, I think I've realized something. Seems like you've largely been able to reconcile your internal world with your external one. I should know that's really re that's really truly impressive. Even most adults can't reliably manage that. Now to put it, you know how everyone has an eternal reality? Some conception of themselves they're striving for? for example, like wanting to be a model student or wanting to be loved and relied on. That kind of thing. But that idealized reality and the one in actuality are often far apart. The gap is responsible for a lot of people's pain. Not everyone can ace their exams and not everyone can be the heroes they wish they could be. Hmm. You've already been through so much, that kind of suffering is usually enough to twist people up into dark places. But you, 
You're standing up to it and confronting a tough, painful reality. To me, that's incredibly admirable. Then again, maybe that's a little weird for you to hear from a guy you just met, huh? Kind of creep me out here. <laughs> nah, sounds about right. <laughs> Not really any deflecting self-deprecation. -de you really are strong, Canelo Kona. I'm sorry. Well, let's see. Sorry this went on longer than expected. Somehow this conversation just took a life on a life of its own, I guess. <sighs> Say. Yeah, I've actually got one last request. Do you mind? You know, I'm actually I... doing certain research along my duties as a counselor. It's not quite like counseling, more like a type of psychological treatment. Basically, it's a project to learn more about people's metaphorical hearts, what they think, how they feel. How about it? If I get far enough with it, I think it'll be able to help a lot of people. So, so what? Um, I need more details. Oh, sorry. I guess my point is, I'd like to ask you to help with that research. All you'd have to do is listen to my theories and then tell me if they spark any ideas or realization or on your end. Please, anytime's good for you. I can work around your schedule. And, uh, I've got a lot of snacks too. You can have them. They're all yours. Take them. Take my snacks. <laughs> Better make it worth it. Leave it to me. I swear you won't regret it. Well, Let's see, I know. Maybe I could teach you some tips for mental training. I happen to know a lot on the subject. I'm sure I can cook up a special regimen for you. If you're dedicated enough, I'm sure you could draw out your full potential. Thank you. Okay, I guess that's our second deal. Yeah, I literally did get a second thing. That was fast. When Joker is inflicted with an ailment, he may recover immediately. Wow. All right. That's nice. As I said, this is all new to Royal. I know. I have not experienced this before. Alright, would, would it be okay if we trade contact information? We'll contact you when I've got time, or when I need some input from you. That should do it. Now. I've started to realize that I've slowly turned his voice similar to Ryuji's, I'm trying to change it. Now I'd better do my part to repay you. Now let's talk about mental training and presence. Let's see, first off... Thanks to Maruki's mental training, my mind feels stronger. All right. Oh, nice. My max HP increased by five. Oh, and here. Let's take a snack. Well, see you. Thank you for your help today. I'll see you around at school. Nice. Man. You really spent a long time talking to Maruki. Look how late it is. If you think the sessions are worthwhile, you should try going again sometime. Good night. All right, sleep time. Well, <laughs> so sleepy. I ended up pulling an all-nighter once I realized today's the last day of exams. Yeah. Staying up studying? Nah, I gave up on the exam. I was playing some games, and then before I knew it, it was morning. I know that feeling. Yep, I'm doing it right now. Bull! You, you say that, but you probably just spent the whole night studying. Uh, the morning. Yo, look who else is yawning. Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. <gasps> Impressive, Lady On. You're quite different from this stupid monkey I know. Huh? Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. What was that? <sighs> Will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I remember. Huh? Am I imagining things? Uh, what's wrong? What? You see a groper or something? No, that's not it. It's... Nothing. Hmm? Oh, cuts in. Oh my god! That guy got off! Isn't this bad? <laughs> hey, at least act like you care. <sighs> Fine. Come on.
That was creepy, dude. Uh, hmm. Hey, uh, are you sure it's him? He was reaching or are you out just for her. Self-conscious. I'm not that. Is there something you want? <laughs> That's my line. You are the one stalking me. Stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me ever since the train. That's because. <laughs> My goodness. I had wondered why you left the car, so this is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. <laughs> What the hell? I saw you from the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. I didn't even notice the calls from Sensei, but thank goodness I caught up to you. Okay... What? You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? W wait a minute, I... Be the model for my next art piece. M model All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike yes. anyone else. My nude model. This okay. man's highly suspicious. Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? <laughs> Hold your horses. Who are you anyways? Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I'm Madarame Sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence at his place. I'm striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that, Madarame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? The very same. You know who that is? He was introduced as a super famous Japanese style artist who's been recognized all over the world. But we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Yusuke! I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That old guy's Matarame? Oh. Oh, yes. I showed us a picture of him. We'll begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. <laughs> that guy's as easy to read as a book. You're not planning on going, are you? I think I will. Crap, look at the time. I'll see you later. How dare he go after Lady On? I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. You became acquainted with Matarame's pupil by chance? That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Matarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. But he'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth in such a short span of time? In the metaverse. This metaverse business again? <sighs> Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness, never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart, too. Were you related to those as well? I don't want to say. Hmm, I see. <laughs> Fine. Let's get back to Matarame's case. Keep it concise and stick to the facts.
Hmm. Today's the last day of exams, huh? Seems like some of these were kind of tough. Yep. Well, it wasn't too bad. You should have gotten a decent score, right? How is Morgana checking my paper? Finally done with exams. Are you gonna go in counseling? So the volleyball key like guys didn't code in. Shit, I got that question wrong. I know, right? I feel like I have to protect that teacher. It's over. It's over. Hmm. How about you? Um. I'm feeling confident. You traitor! <laughs> Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less, too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. I know! Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. I want sushi, then! Or domestic-raised eel. We don't have that much left. Oh, right! There are those tickets to Matarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? It's not like that. Oh, of course not. When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. Matarame, was it? I'm curious, too. Hmm. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Want to go appreciate some fine arts for once? <laughs> Fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. Well, if everyone's going... It's settled, then. <laughs> it should be fun. Just the phrase going to an art exhibit sounds kind of mature. Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow we go to the exhibit with Lady An. Curious to know if this Matarame has anything to do with the name we heard in Mementos. We can't afford to be late tomorrow. We better not go out, go out right now. <laughs> so I keep thinking about what Nakanara had said. Could he have been talking about the famous artist Matarame? Um. Sounds about right. Seconded. Great, that name really stood out to me. Yeah, I mean, have you guys ever heard of someone else called Madarame? It's really not common at all. If what we heard is true, Kitagawa-kun is studying under a corrupt teacher. You mean a teacher who treats people like tools? Kitagawa-kun's life is probably pretty terrible. We gotta look into this. Alright, can I go anywhere? We have to think about tomorrow, we can go out another time. Be serious. Uh, fine. Can I watch anything? Oh, I can, cool. Probably heals. Uh, you think I go out with her? What do I look like? What? You liar! You told me you loved me just last night! It's a show about young adults set in the ritzy upscale neighborhood of Bubbly Hills. Mm. Oh, is that what high schoolers are like overseas? Don't get any ideas, alright? Okay. Go the mm. fuck away, Morgana. Go away. Ah! What is that line for? Oh, the exhibition must be opening today. It's really packed. Want to come back another time? I want it, but it's so pricey. I should take out a loan. I want to go see that. Let's go together sometime.
so crowded. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? You came. Um, yeah. You really came. <laughs> What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Come now, I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. Well, see you guys later. Her hair was just flirting there for a second. Right? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? I told you not to come out. Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? <laughs> uh, let's learn about Madarame. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Hmm? It's that old man from the other day. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart. Like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Madarame-san is actually here? Over there! I'm so glad I came on opening day! Okay, oh shit. Push it. Ugh, there's way too many people! I'm getting crushed! All out attack! We gotta head for the exit! Don't die on us, alright? <laughs> Don't die on us. I didn't us. know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually one concentrates on their own style. However, since he creates all this by himself, he's special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. This seems really friendly. Indeed. Oh, this is it. The painting I wanted to see in person. This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this strong frustration from it. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <clears throat> Something wrong? Don't mind me. There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this way. Did he make hey. this one? Does he not like it because it's his or something? Ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. But thanks to that, I remember now. About what? Well, let me get to it. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. Why'd you leave without me? You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... Eh, anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. 
Ryan. Abuse on top of plagiarism, huh? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with Mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? Uh, yeah, he does actually. He seems too happy, I guess is the word. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitagawa-kun gave me his contact info, and the address to his sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing! Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden! What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. Because that's gonna go well. Hey, Kitagawa, we hear your sensei might be plagiarizing shit and abusing their students. What are your words on this? Fuck off. <laughs> In any case, we need to find out if the rumor about Madarame is true. If it is, this might just be exactly what we needed. Well, then. That reminds me, the home shopping program's on. Alright, let's quickly do that then. What other? Hey, hey. So helps with confusion and dizziness, and a gift set for health and cosmetics loved by every working woman. Okay, I'll get this one. Another bar is just called in. Thank you so much. Nice. Well, then. All right. Well, I'm gonna end it here, guys. We've been going for about an hour now. Uh, tomorrow we will. Next time, I mean, not tomorrow. Next time, we will check out a bit more. I will see you guys then. See ya.